Oh, yes, UKIP's Young Independence and Defend Europe. That's right. UKIP's Young Independence are having a conference this Saturday in Sheffield, is it? The 2nd of September. Correct me if I'm wrong. And there's a special guest, and have a guess who it is. None other than Martin Selner of the Austrian Identitarian Movement. Identitarians are those of the Starship Enterprise in Star Trek. That's how stupid it sounds. That's what you'd imagine them to be. The identitarian movement when it's in France or Austria or wherever. Run through the mountains and uh, practice mixed martial arts and kick and punch uh, pads and various other activity that's alien to real politics. That's why our enemies have got us doing that, right? It, it just looks stupid and pathetic and it puts you in the category of a cult. I mean, imagine Nick Griffin or John said, well, I can't myself, but I'll try. Rolling on the floor, trying to get each other in an armbar or, you know, rear naked choke or something. It's just that stupid. It's that ludicrous. Imagine you saw Cameron warming up outside number 10 on the pads. It's all that stupid, but it's meant to look stupid. But the identitarian movement, the Austrian identitarian movement, led by Martin Selner, the latest nonsense is sailing around the Mediterranean in this uh, ship called Sea Star to stop migrants crossing from North Africa to Europe. According to West Monster, a blog I'm made to believe, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, run, founded and run by Adam Banks of all people, praises the uh, Defend Europe uh, outfit and the uh, Sea Star ship saying that they'd stop migrants entering Italy by 76%. I don't believe that in a million billion years. If that is the case, it's not because of this sea star ship. Again, that's another venture that's not real politics. In fact, you're just flushing your money down the Mediterranean when it could be used to other good causes like buying a permanent HQ or whatever. A million things, right? A million. Give it to the Front National, whatever, right? But anyway, you've got. Uh, Martin Selner now, he's a, a special guest at the uh, Young Independence uh, Conference, 2nd of uh, September this Saturday. And like I keep saying, oh, she's there as well, Anne-Marie Waters. Isn't it amazing? Well, what I was going to say, but I'll interrupt myself. Isn't it amazing, very telling, how all the spies I accuse all gravitate together? And that Jamie Ross McKenzie with the... Uh, to turn up moustache like a colonel of the army, a kitchener's army or something. Um, he's another one that's highly suspect, given he was on Hope Not Hate blog. You see, when you're on their blog, holding a rifle or a shotgun, was it? Had he been out shooting grouse? I don't know. He's holding some sort of rifle or shotgun. I'll try and find the link again. Uh, when you see people on their blog in silly poses, pulling soft faces, or in his case, holding a... A, a rifle or shotgun, whatever, whichever, I'll have a look, I'll leave the link below. Then you know they're normally working for them. That's, it's twofold. Attacking them is to give them, uh, that gives them cover. You think, oh, they oh, no, hate, hate them, they're against them, but they're not, it's to give them cover. And also, it's to make us look stupid. Because I've been on it, Richard Edmonds has been on it, uh, Nick Griffin have been on it, and none of us work for them. Hope not hate and the rest of that shower, right? But we're not on there holding shotguns or whatever, are we? Or pulling soft faces or doing stupid things. And that's normally an indicator. So again, you've got the young independence, Jamie Ross McKenzie, like a colonel or whatever out the kitchen as army. Uh, so you've got them all gravitating together, haven't you? You've also got in there the military man, Reese Jones, is he? He's another dodgy one, him. You see... A lot of people just can't believe there's this many working against us. Trust me, there's probably a lot more. The government, and, and it's two criminal proxies, Hope Not Hate Nick Lowe's, Jerry Gable, Sadler like Magazine, right? They will have dozens and dozens of their agents in our movement, right? Then it's in UK, but wherever, trying to stop us and bring us down. They will have at their disposal probably resources that we could only dream or we could only think of. And this is what people can't believe. Oh, he's at it again. Well, how come everything I say comes true? How come all the spies seem to all gravitate together? Why would Adam Banks and Young Independence be uh, embracing the identitarian movement? Well, go on, answer that one. If you want mainstream respectability, they're the last lot 
you'd want anything to do with, but UKIP is doomed. UKIP is finished, like I've said. Nigel Farage, it's doomed. Peter Whittle is, I hope you win the a leadership race, but unless you're listening to me and you get your act together and you listen and learn and put things into uh, effect, UKIP will be brought down. There is no doubt in my mind. Even if Anne-Marie Waters doesn't win, will it then cause a split? Well, the spies will cause the split deliberately, of course. And it all reminds me of the ones, the mighty National Front, you know, what happened to them. They were split into three or four different political parties. And same with the BMP in 2014, when Daphnich was ousted by Adam Walker and Clive Jefferson after being warned year in, year out. Christ. It's criminal, Nick, what you had, what you let happen. Especially when you were warned, but you didn't believe me, did you? Well, maybe ones now that have a chance to stop it happening to their party, namely UKIP, need to listen to Joe Owens. Joe Owens is spot on, right? I'm not wrong on anyone who I say is a snitch for the big boys in MI5 and his two criminal proxies. Hope not hate Nick Close, Jerry Gable, State Magazine. I'm not wrong at all. Adam Banks, well, what can you say? And don't let that fool you about people donating a million pounds to your party. The state works in very mysterious ways. Trust me, it does. Look at uh, Jim Dowson. I think he um, fundraised, was it a million, two million pounds with the BMP? For Nick Griffin's 209 European Election Fund. But Nick Griffin wasn't meant to win. Nick Griffin was meant to go along with Peter Malloy's uh, rally in Liverpool City Centre the 9th of March, which would have scoobered any chances of being elected after the violence that was going to unfold in Liverpool that day and also, also uh, pissing the Evan and Liverpool, uh, uh, sorry, Evan and Stoke fans off by moving their game to the next day, the Sunday, you know, but what did the police do? They allowed the BMP rally to go ahead and move the uh, big uh, league game, Evan and Stoke and all the logistics that comes with it, right? They moved it to the next day. Instead of just saying to the BMP, can you come back next week? Which they could have done. Or can you come a week before? Which they could have done. They moved a big major league fixture like that. Everton versus Stoke. Well, of course, it was to piss the Everton and Stoke fans off. And don't forget at that time, the BMP, what did he have? 12 councillors in Stoke. That would have pissed a lot of people off in Stoke. Like it would have pissed a lot of people off here in Liverpool if Everton uh, fans had the game moved to the Sunday where uh, instead of playing on the Saturday, they'd have to play Stoke the next day on the Sunday. That would have pissed a lot of people off because people make arrangements for these events. But anyway, anyway, Nick Griffin wasn't meant to win, but yours truly got on it. And Daft Nick, thinking of uh, pounds and pennies, listen, then you didn't go ahead with the uh, the planned rally by Peter Malloy and other Hobner Hate Spy. And so the, the Evan Stoke game never got moved. I mean, it was honky dory, but he didn't thank me for it. But anyway, anyway, so. It's, a, it's very telling, isn't it? Again, the young independents that are having this conference, Sheffield, Saturday, 7th of September. Martin Selner is guest there, appear, guest, there guest speaker or whatever. Um, and, you know, he's pushing the nonsense of the identitarian move. Then you've got Adam Banks pushing it as well. And it's all very telling. And how they all gravitate together. Okay, thank you.